Asbury, the world needs this kind of love. Okay, the United States needs this kind of love. They need a bunch of Christians experience the love of God so they can pour out the love of God, not through their own efforts and not through their own knowledge, but because they are filled with his love. On February 8th, students at Asbury University gathered together for another chapel service, but that service still hasn't stopped. I'm Shelby Bowen, and this is Charisma Magazine, and we have video clips for you today that show what was happening in that ordinary, everyday chapel service before revival broke out that is still going on a week later. People from around the country are flying in, they're filling up hotels just to sit and be in the presence of God. We have talked to multiple different people. We have heard their testimonies, seen videos across social media. And what people are saying has marked this meeting is the sweetness and the presence of the love of God. So what were they talking about in that chapel service? Well, Reverend Zach Mercrebs was speaking at Asbury University to the students. And we have clips to show you on what they were talking about that day. Some of you guys have experienced radically poor love, like evil love, selfish love. And I would say today, we should not even give it the honor of calling it love. Some of you have experienced things that should not have even been titled love. In the chapel service, Reverend Zach was talking to the students about the love of God. He asked them, do you love me? What about your friends? What about your enemies? What about those who persecute you? And he talked about the verses in Romans 12 about what distinguishes love. And he said, the heart of God is not one to keep guilt in shame on us. The point of the message, and we have more clips that we're gonna play in just a minute, was to know and experience the love of God so that you would pour love from that place. Because as Christians, we don't love just because the Bible tells us to do it. We love because we know the goodness of God and the love that he has poured out for us. Here is the next clip. So some of us, Some of us need to sit in the love of God. Some of us need to taste and see and experience the power of the Holy Spirit. Because if you want to become love, if you really want to become love in action, you start by prostrating yourself before the love of God. If you want to become love in action, then you have to experience the love of God. It's so incredible to me that right before revival breaks out, a move of God that has been just marked by the love of Jesus. Anybody who's going there, they just say, you go and you sit there and it is the sweet tenderness that is just filling people up. In a world with so much hate and division and bickering, just this love and unity that is bringing people together. So, In the next clips, Pastor Zach was talking about, what about weeping for those who weep? Do we weep with them? Do you journey with them and tarry with those people? And he said to the students that the pressure's off. We can never live up to what the Bible defines as love. That standard that has been set as humans, we can't strive to get there. He said to stop wearing a heavy burden of, I've got to love because I'm a Christian, but because you've tasted and seen the goodness of God. And he asked a question that I think we could all ask ourselves today. What is the source of our love? If you really want to become love in action, you start by prostrating yourself before the love of God. I love that. I think it's amazing. Here is the last clip. And I think it will touch you the most from what he calls the students in action to do right before revival breaks out. Here it is. Asbury, 
the world needs this kind of love. Needs it. Syria and Turkey need this kind of love. Your mom and dad need this kind of love. The teammates on your team, the people on your floor, Wilmore, Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky, the United States needs this kind of love. They need a bunch of Christians experiencing the love of God so they can pour out the love of God, not through their own efforts and not through their own knowledge, but because they are filled with his love. Amen. We will continue to keep you posted on what is going on with the Asbury University revival that started in Hughes Auditorium and then now has spread to multiple other buildings on campus, on the field out front, and we are hearing reports that people who went are bringing back that revival to their churches, to other college campuses around the country. A generation who is lost, who is broken, that are dealing with depression, anxiety, that they need the love of Jesus. And those are the ones that are being marked and touched by this move of God. You have young people who cannot leave the presence of God. They are sitting on stage. They're worshiping Jesus. They are pouring their hearts out before God just consumed by his love and people around the country are coming to experience it. And if you did not know already, in 1970, there was another revival at Asbury University. We did an article about it. I will post it down below. And 50 years ago, they experienced an eight day long revival where classes were canceled for an entire week as students and faculty were transformed in the presence of God. And it all started with one student saying he was ready to go in all the way for Jesus and invited other students to go up to the altar. Reports came out of the 1970 revival that as testimonies were shared, more breakthrough came. The students would leave to take showers and rush right back to Hughes Stadium to continue worshiping and and crying out to God. The fear of the Lord was at the forefront of the revival with a greater understanding of God's power and holiness. And people were experiencing the manifest presence of God. And they are again today. Now, testimonies are circulating across social media, a lot of which we have on our website, charismanews.com and charismamag.com, and I will also link that down below. Um, We are talking to leaders in the church about what they are hearing, about what they're experiencing. We talked with Jim Garlow, who was one of the first people to post on social media about the revival breaking out. He's an alumni for Asbury University, and you do not want to miss all of the coverage that we have on our websites, charismanews.com and charismamag.com. Again, I will link those down below. Stay tuned because this is just the beginning. We will continue sharing with you guys what we are hearing from people out on the field at Hughes Stadium and Asbury University. Pray for the students that they would be bold. Pray against any attacks of the enemy that might try to come against what is going on here. And pray that more universities, more college students would be set on fire and this revival would spread across the country and maybe the world. And if you want to know more about the Bob Jones prophecy, and the link to the Super Bowl and what happened with the Chiefs winning and whether or not this has to do with the revival happening right now, we have that story on our website. God bless and continue praying.